so guys there you have it that's me showing you the money changers situation here in Bali most important thing for me guys is that you have a most enjoyable experience here in Bali and you do not leave with a bad taste in your mouth everything in this video I speak from experience I speak from 10 years of experience of living here in Bali I speak from experience of changing at those whiteboards uh, money changers and not getting the rates displayed on the board i speak from experience of being skimmed at the atm machines all of this is real real life information what i'm providing you and i know how you feel if you feel as though you've been cheated it's not a nice feeling right guys but i speak from the heart i want to keep you safe i want to get you prepared Good afternoon from Bali, Indonesia. So I'm here today in Sonor, um, but this isn't really about Sonor. This is actually, I'm gonna provide you with some information on changing money here in Bali. So num number one, the first thing is, we'll start where you're first gonna arrive in Bali. You're gonna arrive at Bali International Airport, Airport or Domestic Airport no exchange in the domestic airport only at the international airport however i wouldn't recommend that you really exchange money at the international airport because the rates in general at the international airport are lower than what you're going to get at the authorized uh, money exchanges here on the street number two stick to using authorized money chip exchanges all throughout your stay uh, here in bali Anywhere where you go and there are these little white display boards uh, usually posted outside of little shops um, that are usually selling something else and also doubling up as a money exchange. Those kind of places in general are going to offer, offer higher rates but when you go in and try to exchange your money you're not going to get them rates. Trust me guys, I speak from experience. I have been scammed in those kind of places myself thinking that the rate is so much better on offer at those places and places like this behind me. However, when you go inside there and try and get the rate what's displayed on the board, you do not get that rate received in the money what comes back to your hands. So I'm going to give you some examples of that, we'll just take a walk around in a minute and I'll show you some examples of the, the genuine exchanges and the little white board exchanges, what you want to try and avoid. BMC authorised money changer. guys at this one here the rates are displayed on the board as higher than BMC however when you try and go in that office and change your money they ain't gonna give you the rates that are displayed on the board so you have this here like this and then just across the street we'll go and take a look this is another authorised money changer PT Mandiri, this is another company that has various branches throughout Bali, another authorised trusted money exchange. Another authorised money exchange located on Jalan Danaposo. the rates are the same as all the other authorised money changers. This is an authorised money changer, BHI and the afternoon rates. As you can see they're the same as all the other authorised money changers. Number three guys, now number three is quite important because I'm, I'm 
going to be providing you with examples in this video of what the exchange rates are over the weekend and what the exchange rates are from Monday midday to Friday midday which is the best time for you to exchange your money if you exchange on the weekend the rates are extremely lower than, than what they are during those periods when I've just told you so the best time for you to exchange money is going to be from midday on Monday to midday on Friday after that point the rates are changed and they drop drastically they're really really low the exchange rates over the weekend Okay guys, so these are the rates basically from, um, still from the weekend, it's Monday morning and as you can see they're ridiculously very very low. Well, this is the BMC in the afternoon. Number 4 guys, now this relates now to ATM machines. There is a lot of skimming that goes on here, card skimming that goes on here in Bali um, and in Indonesia in general. However, this is not actually in relation to Indonesians. This is actually people from other nations around the world that stay in Bali or come here to Bali and they are actually um, performing these acts of um, card skimming. Um, how, however, what I will say is, try not to use single machines that are just on, on the side of a street, just there with no security, no cameras, etc. Um, try to stick to using ATM machines at the main banks. Any of the main banks that have ATM, all, all usually have ATM machines, try to exchange at those banks because they have a higher level of security, they have CCTV um, filming the um, ATM machine and always when you go into an ATM machine should you use one of those in a small cubicle on the side of a street just go in make sure that the device where you're inputting your card make sure it doesn't pull off there's there's no nothing attached to it just check that prior to you inserting your card and inserting your pin and just check that that's all secure and it looks like a real genuine ATM machine so these are the kind of little um, ATM booth type places that I would highly recommend that you avoid and this is just on the side of the street and it's just a single individual ATM machine um, and these are the kind of places that the skimmers for some reason um, tend, to, tend to attract. So this is the Pumata Bank in Sonor located on Jalan Tambaling and this is my own personal bank here in Bali and this is going to be in general a safe ATM machine to use because it has CCTV inside so this ATM machine is here and here's the bank Number 5 always count your money after you've received it just double check even though the teller's just counted it in front of you recount it yourself and do not let the teller touch the sum of money again after you have counted it personally as long as you're happy put it in your pocket and walk out of the money exchange number six guys is make if you're changing large sums of money make sure the aim the money exchange that you're changing at has a um, an electronic counting machine in the back uh, behind the counter um, i'll show you those in this video also this is the place um, as you can see can i just i'm just making a video as you can see, they actually have uh, money counting machines in the back there. Any of the good money changes should have a counting machine located in the back. Uh, but if you're changing large sums of money, you can see the machine count the money. So guys, there you have it. That's me showing you the money changers situation here in Bali. Most important thing for me, guys, is that you have a most enjoyable experience here in Bali and you do not leave with a bad taste in your mouth. 
everything in this video I speak from experience I speak from 10 years of experience of living here in Bali I speak from experience of changing at those whiteboards uh, money changers and not getting the rates displayed on the board I speak from experience of being skimmed at the ATM machines all of this is real real life information what I'm providing you and I want to make sure that you have the most enjoyable possible holiday here in Bali and I know how you feel if you feel as though you've been cheated it's not a nice feeling right guys so hope you use this information what I'm providing you in this uh, video wisely and listen to everything what I've explained to you I speak from the heart I want to keep you safe I want to get you prepared and most of all I want you to enjoy your time here in Bali so I hope you found this information useful glad to share this information with you guys and I shall say bye for now